I'm WBTV's Maddie Gardner. And I'm WBTV's security analyst Carl Delaguerra. And launching now on WBTV News Now is Safety First. It's an opportunity for us to share tips and tricks to protect yourself and your family. Hey, hey, stay back. I don't know you. Listen, we know you hear about all of the bad news out there, but instead of just stopping it right there, we want to bring in some real world knowledge, some experts in our area, your neighbors, in your community, so you really do come away with information that can help. Just both. Don't engage them, just get out of there. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Today we're talking about carjacking, but first, what is that? What does that mean? Carjacking, different than car theft. This is a violent act that occurs when someone is going to come pull you out of your vehicle or push you into your car and steal that vehicle. A very, very violent personal act. And why do we need to be aware of this and are there ways we can protect ourselves from this? Rob Austin, recently retired deputy sheriff from the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Office. He spent several years on, on the SWAT team there. Uh, he's going to join us today to kind of give us some tips on what we can do to prevent a car crash. So Rob, it would seem like the first thing we need to do to prevent somebody from getting into our car and a potential carjacking is to lock our doors and keep our windows rolled up. But mm -hmm. especially in beautiful weather like this, we don't want to be cooped up in our vehicles all the time. So with the windows down, where does vigilance come into play here? Well, um, and especially in areas that you're unfamiliar with or even areas that you are familiar with, being aware of your surroundings at all times is the most important thing. Vigilance, knowing who's around you, knowing where you are, knowing if the light has changed and you're not paying attention. And even if with, with the windows rolled up, sitting in the vehicle, sometimes we just get that sense of being secure, that false insecurity. Doors not locked, you're sitting in the car, easy access. Just in case she wasn't paying attention, doors open, I grab her out, just say, take it, take, take it, go. it, take it. <laughs> They're gone, will this work? Absolutely. So Rob, what should someone do? Should they become a victim of carjacking? Well, Carl, in the unfortunate event that that happens to you, give up the vehicle. It's insured. Your life is worth way much more than your vehicle. Keep a phone handy on you and charge. But most importantly, don't try to fight for your vehicle, right? Like no. you said, it's insured. It's not worth losing your life over a piece of property. Absolutely. And even if it's not insured, what's more valuable at that point, your life or the vehicle? Take it. <laughs> So Carl, you've been in the security field for, for decades now. So you're going to have a little bit of a different takeaway than I did as someone who's coming to this as just a normal person. Uh, for me, I think having a plan in place was helpful. That reminder from Rob also Absolutely. just to give up. Don't fight back. I sure. think a lot of times we're trying to protect ourselves, but don't fight back. I mean, that was interesting. The, the thing I really got out of this, Maddie, is that self-awareness, uh, being vigilant of your mm -hmm. surroundings, you know, knowing what's going on around you. If you see something bad coming, from, coming toward you, you've got that vehicle there to get you out of the area, wherever it might happen to be. Bad things can happen, and you do have a plan in place, so you can relax a little bit. Like I've always said, there's absolutely no reason to be paranoid in our society today. It's just be aware, be vigilant, enjoy yourself.